this world. Our Earth, so mercifully cleansed by the media they named Apophis. We had such plans, all thwarted by one man, Nicholas Rain. With the push of a button, our future was ended. The arcs emerged. The eco-pods came tumbling down, all premature, pouring life back into the barren lands, starting a cycle of life anew, as we had planned to do with our own species. Our plans were thwarted by the naive and arrogant masses. The cleansing of our weakened species was hindered. Our aid selfishly refused. They chose their own pitiful existence over the future of the breed. Such hubris. They thought us defeated. We let them believe us defeated. But we moved underground. We watched their petty squabbles, their meaningless turf wars, their childish attempts at order from chaos, and we grew strong. Our science, our expertise, all aligned, all with one sole purpose. The surgical culling of the weak. Man reborn! We tear down the defenses. We take their compounds. We take the arcs. We raise their settlements and townships to the ground. Tonight marks the beginning of the cleansing. Tonight marks the rebirth of the authority! What's going on? Up there? Nothing good. Better gear up and move out. <laughs> Think it's a drill? It's go time, right? Yeah, grab your gear. What is that? Come on, Walker. We gotta get out there. Grab your gear. In case you haven't noticed, we're under heavy attack. The enemy has breached our defenses, and every goddamn wall rat is needed to fight them back. Grab your wing stick and pistol, and <coughs> let's go. I'll secure the door. Not bad. That was my kill. You gotta move a little faster, Walker. Lily, the closest thing I ever had to family. We grew up here in Vineland, raised by her drill sergeant of a mother. Me? I'm an orphan. I don't have a mother. But there's plenty more where that came from. I'm telling you, this is the big one. All right. Well, let's go fucking get some. Let's go! I'm gonna go earn us a glory ribbon!
Your jersey. It's not gonna defib out of that. Talk to me now. I'm taking that armor. If you're gonna do it, do it. Let's push these creeps back into the wasteland. Shit. Mom's gonna skin you alive messing with ranger gear. <laughs> uh. But it's still got a lot of jersey in it. Yeah, but it's our only shot. Oh, yeah! This is even better than I thought! Oh, yeah. Bigger gun. there. Didn't make it. I do all that again, huh?
Jealous, Lily? Damn right I am. I would have been the youngest ranger to ever get sworn in if not for this bullshit nano trite crap. Walker's inbound. Crowley, decorated war hero, ranger, and role model. Especially for Lily. She took me in when my parents died. <laughs> the meanest mom this orphan wildcard never asked for. Reporting for duty! Come here! That's Jersey's armor. Jersey... They killed him. You're brave enough to put on his armor? You're brave enough to do his job? What the fuck is that? Anything so big makes an easy target. Can't be. He should be dead. General Cross. <laughs> I want the first genus. Kill everything else. General Cross. 
the evil leader of the evil authority. Our own boogeyman. A bedtime story for naughty kids like me. I don't know if Prowley has lost it or if it's really true. You know this, though. If it is, I'm not going to stand for it. Son of a- Stand down. That's a direct order! Watch out! Ah! 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 Okay. Well. Interesting. Let's see if we can jump start this. Clear. Wait, wait the fuck. Fuck's sake. Oh, I was conscious. Yeah, you were. But your shiny new armor needed a jolt. So this is it then. This is all that's left? Just over 20 survivors. We're still digging out the ruins. I saw Prowley. It was General Cross. He... He killed her. He killed my mother. I don't know how. But we gotta stop them. And I'll personally wring the neck of that goddamn <coughs> wrinkled bastard. I never really believed the stories. That the authority would return. Well, they did. We gotta do something about it. Mom knew what to do. The Rangers knew. Wait a minute. They kept their files, the logs. They kept them in the Presidio. The Ranger CP? You nuts. Only Rangers can go in there. Look at me, Lily. <laughs> I'm the only Ranger left. Holy shit. You really are. Alright, let's see what we got here. Guess you got nothing to say. Looks like we're going this way. Sprinting. I hope you got something for me in here, Browley.
Guess we're going in. Walker, if you're seeing this message, it means we've been hit harder than ever before. I'm likely dead, and Vineland is way too soon. It also means that you're the only living ranger, and that the authority is back, and they must be stopped. All these years, I kept you away from the ranks of the rangers, as I hoped you would be spared in an attack like this. Likely targeting rangers and elders. You're my hidden weapon. Sorry I kept you in the dark. You now have full access to Vineland's primary arc and the technology inside, the old icebox. Imagine spending hundreds of years in this thing. It was me, your parents, all the originals. Froze up like popsicles. And from here we emerged, kicking the authorities' ass. Inside the arc is an ID accession distributor, which is my greatest gift to you. A device which augments the nanotracks in your blood and gives you, well, Superhuman powers. There's no other way to put it. Enter the arc and activate it. Now, let's see what kind of surprise you got for me here, Ghost Prowley. She might be dead, but she's still calling the shots. Well, there's gotta be a way in there somehow. in the use of your ARC weapons and any ID accessions. You have successfully installed ID accession DASH. With the DASH accession, you will be able to evade incoming threats and become harder to hit. Sorry about that, guys. All right, control. Good. Again, please. And again. Move forward. Oh, there it goes. A simulation will allow you to train in the use of your dash accession to evade enemy fire. Uh oh, here we go. Haha, <laughs> see how good we do here. Hmm. Unsuccessful. Yeah, Try no again. kidding. No. Nope. Try this again. Well, 
that's not working. There it goes. Shoot that thing. Please repeat. Ah, yeah. Try it. Once more. Good. You have successfully completed your dash accession training. Wasn't much of a dash. Where we're Senators, going to call this an episode. Daughter of war hero Dan Hagar. She went from guerrilla fighter to mayor of the greatest city in the wasteland. Her access to military when she gets done. And then there's Dr. Anton Bossier, ex authority <laughs> scientist turned resistance fighter. He's a genius when it comes to nanotrite technology and mutations. His skills are a cornerstone in the DACA project. You will want to know more down the road. Your Ranger Armor CPU has logs that will be able to answer many of your questions. Good luck out there. Ranger Walker. God damn it. So you thought you'd just dump all that on my shoulders and waltz off into oblivion, huh, Aunt Prowley? Well then, I guess it's all up to me now. Alright. So we will pick up right here, where we left off. Lily, there are three people I need to find. John Marshall, Dr. Kvasir, and Lusum Hagar. They're all part of a Project Dagger designed to stop the Authority. That's a pretty tall order. Yeah, your mother is no nonsense, even from the afterlife. Too soon, Walker. Sorry, Lily. But, hey, I'm ready to trek out into the wasteland. I think I got just the thing. Come see me. Alright, there we go. So we will catch you all in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more, hit that sub button, and we will catch you later.